If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code INCEPTION when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Guys, uh, my graphics card just stopped working randomly, so I have to figure out uh, why that happened. I don't know if it's like a driver thing or something, but now I'm using the integrated graphics for this. So it might take a while to render out the video this time, but we'll try to get the video out regardless. Guys, with the Bumiang, we're taking a look at someone who is six foot two, high low work rates, right footed, five star skills, a four star weak foot. Uh, so with the way that a Bumiang is formatted in game, uh, he is going to be a controlled player no matter what you do with him, right? So, from what I'm seeing so far with the card... Can't load up the stats? Okay, can't load up the stats. Let me see the card over here, then. Um, da -da 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 -da. I mean, I wouldn't mind using him on a basic, to be honest. But then the acceleration, I want more. His pace is very relevant in this game. Because, to be honest with you, it looks like it's formatted for a Hawk chemistry style. And then you just use a dribbling as it is. Or you give him an engine, because his finishing is in a good area. And then the engine would uh, increase the dribbling capabilities of the card, right? Because on the engine, if I boost the pace and the dribbling, it would work a little bit better with his 6 foot 2 height unique body type. And then maybe I can utilize the 5 star skills a little bit better. And it's not like I'm going to make it, be making him like a controlled... Or, uh, excuse me, I'm not going to be making him an explosive player, so I don't think that really matters too much. Yeah. Perfect link to the bench. <laughs> um, yeah, because it kind of looks like a hawk, too. Like, I would just have to use the dribbling for what it is kind of thing as well. Boosted jumping, heading accuracy improved. Trades, he has chip, outside foot, finesse, solid player, speed dribbler. Okay, definitely some interesting stuff with this card. You know what we could do? Let's give him a let's give him a hawk chemistry style first. Let's do that first, and then uh, which I have to go buy, and then we'll just see from there. We're gonna use them in a uh, four three two one this formation right here. Yeah, and then I uh, probably have to switch in Kunku, and then just do that. Yeah. Okay, cool. So yeah, I'm gonna go get the hawk, and uh, we'll see how he plays. Oh, no goal there. Good effort, though. Ah, oh, couldn't get the near post. Unlucky. You feel the dribbling a little bit. I'm not going to say that you don't. You definitely do a bit without uh, an engine on it, but it's still not like a huge nuisance. Oh my goodness, really? I know it's his weak foot, but... And I know I have to green in this game because you know how it is with the finishing, but even still, man, I feel like that could be a goal. Oh, I think he used manual goalkeeping there. That shot wasn't as bad. He's on side. Good. You're good finish there. We'll take that. Okay, a tap shot worked there. I want his right foot for that one. Oh, I tried to do a bicycle, but it didn't work. Why timed on that? So the timing of his shooting, you have to uh, kind of get used to because his animation is like slow sometimes to take the strike. Like that one, I had to like really wait for it to kind of come off. Ooh, 
and I'm still gonna okay. And the goalie dives too. Uh EA, that challenge should never work like that, man. Never should work like that. Oh, I got the challenge from behind. Oh, I still scored. Still scored. I, I the time was a little bit off for me there because of the uh, the tackle, but he has the chip shot trade, so he'll hit those. Oh, wow. If his body type didn't make him so sluggy in those situations, I probably could have got full possession of that. There it is. There it is. Good finish. Good finish. Got to get those greens. You know the vibes. Oh, and empty net. Get the cross off? Nope. Oh, that was good. That, that strike, he did a pop strike right away. Those pop strikes are crazy when they pop off, man. Nothing there. Yeah, he has that like that sway to him when he's doing stuff for sure. Like I probably have to give him an engine to kind of avoid that. I, I, at least a little bit. Oh, and I hit the crossbar on the finesse. No. Oh, I couldn't get it directly to the side. Again, it has to be a green for those ones. But I was using a little bit of that L1 dribbling there. There we go. I have to do the build up there, man. Kamavinga, that card do be do be S tier. He do be S tier. Oh my goodness. He has that like thing to him, you know? Definitely has that thing to him. Get the header! Nope. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Should be able to get that. Okay, good. Touch. Shoot! Oh, over the bar. Put too much. No! It was, good. Uh, it was a good play, though. Nice little chest control. Ooh, the reach. Oh, I, I appreciate the effort of still uh, shooting at them. Yeah, that's just... That's just how it goes, man. Okay, I have an engine on him this time, because I want to see if I can, like, improve the dribbling a little bit. See what's up with that. Okay, so that's probably just going to be a thing of his. Because you can even see from, like, just the Magidi cancel and stuff, like, the emphasis that he adds on it. Because of the body type and stuff. Okay, he touched the ball apparently. It's 
the touch that it's that that touch man it's gonna like i might i might just give him a marksman you know tap shot there it is i might i might just give him a marksman because if that's gonna be like a, a base thing of his and he already has a 98 for sprint speed like i just deal with the acceleration as it is for the high low but then give him a marksman you know what i mean So lucky. That is so lucky. Probably gonna leave before I even take it. Let's see. Go right side. And he saves it. So he won't leave. He'll, he'll stay now. Oh, he'll leave anyways. It still doesn't like there's no like venom behind it if I don't green it, eh? Like I really have to hit a green on it. Oh man, no jumping. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know how we do. You know how we do. He timed that offside trap really poorly there. No! The drag touch, man. Okay, worked out. Super awkward, but it worked out, man. I'll take it. We got it. We got it. There it is. I mean, that's what happens when you have the traits, man. I'm telling you, when you have the traits, it makes your cards way more usable. How was a white timed? Just a regular strike. Nice. Gotta hit those greens, man. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the Emric Abumyang flashback card. So guys, in regards to how this card performs in game, uh, you know, I tried him on three different chemistry styles. There's not gonna be like a right choice with him. Uh, it's really gonna depend on uh, you as the player, what you notice the most when you're attacking, all that kind of stuff. Uh, a hot chemistry style would not be a bad choice, to be fair, because with this card being boosted in the pace, shooting, and physical department, you would just work with the dribbling as it is, guys, because whether or not you give them an engine chemistry style to boost agility, balance, and dribbling, that's not really going to be as influential. Now, what I will say is that I actually preferred his dribbling on the marksman chemistry style. The reason why I preferred it on the marksman chemistry style is because that agility and bounce just feels like a base mechanic of his, right? Because of his six foot two height, unique body type as it is. But when I boosted reactions, ball control and dribbling, I felt like I was able to build up the play a little bit better with him. And the fact that I can boost certain areas of the shooting while also boosting the important areas of the physical works out really well for me because here's the thing. I didn't personally care too much about increasing his acceleration and sprint speed because Aubameyang doesn't have a crazy running animation. You know, when you use someone like Petr Cech on the lengthy, he's nuts. When you use someone like Kylian Mbappe, who's not a lengthy, but has the 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed on the higher cards, like when he's gone, he's gone. Aubameyang doesn't really have that like crazy pace. Like the pace is good, but it's not crazy like that. So even if I were to improve it with the Hawk chemistry style, it doesn't feel like a 99-99 because of the six foot two height unique body type that he has specifically. Some cards are just like that, right? Um, but it's still fast, but just not as fast as like you would think because Aubameyang in the past, like from his rare gold cards back in the day with like Borussia Dortmund, like that card was gone, you know? Like he was just gone whenever he had the pace going for him. Um, it's one of those types of SBCs guys where... It's like Trent Alexander-Arnold. Like, Trent Alexander-Arnold was prem tax like crazy, right? But if you choose to do the SBC, these cards are going to be much more usable to use, right? And Aubameyang is probably not going to get a card for the rest of the year. So, obviously, for people that want to work with those Chelsea links for a striker that's going to be usable in the game, great stuff. But, 
obvious prem tax uh prem tax on the price of the card so yeah if the render for this video takes a little bit too long guys i apologize my graphics card literally stopped working so we'll see how long it takes but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today i'll catch you guys for the next one peace out dudes love you guys